my god, you guys. If you have TBS Crossfire or Tracer, you have to see this. Here's the regular Crossfire Lua script that you usually use to configure your Crossfire stuff. TBS has released something way better. This is their new TBS Agent Lite. <laughs> it's like a freaking app. It's not like a Lua script. It's like a freaking app. Look at this. I don't know. What are we going to do? All the stuff that you're used to seeing is still there. It's just way better interface. It's not just cosmetic. It seems to run much smoother. I don't know. And it is available for... Oh, look at that. It's available for basically all OpenTX radios. And I'm going to show you how to get it installed. I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're going to learn something today. So the first thing you're going to need to do to get TBS Agent Lite onto your radio is download this zip file. Uh, I've got a link to this down in the video description. You get it from the TBS website and you're going to open that zip file up. When the zip file opens, you're going to see these two relevant things, the TBS Agent Lite folder and the TBS Agent Lite.lua Lua file. Next, you need to get at the SD card in your radio. And in my case, uh, the Radio Master TX16S, it's very easy to pull the SD card out of the bottom of the radio. So I've just plugged it into a card reader on my computer. You can also plug the USB port into your radio. The radio will pop up a dialog box and you'll choose mass storage. And then you should see your SD card contents here in an Explorer window. And I'm just going to drag this over to one side here and I'm gonna drag this over to one side here. So they're side by side. We'll just get rid of the downloads window there. Uh, what you're going to do is go into the scripts folder on your SD card and then into the tools folder on your SD card. And I'm going to grab the TBS agent light folder from the zip file. And I'm just going to drag it over into the tools folder on the SD card. And then I'm going to grab the TBS Agent Lite Lua script, and I'm going to drag that over again into the Tools folder on the SD card. And that is it. In order to use it, uh, you're going to press the Sys button on your radio. Uh, when I press that, some radios will pop up with the Tools menu already loaded. Uh, in later versions of OpenTX, they switch to making the Tools menu the first screen that shows up. In my case, I've got the Radio Setup menu, and so I'm going to need to use the Page key to page to the tools menu and scroll down to TBS Agent Light and bingo. Um, let me show you what this looks like on a different screen. This is the TBS Tango 2 and you can see that like, like several other radios, it doesn't have a separate sys button. In this case, we're going to long press the menu button and you can see that's brought us up already into the tools menu. So if your radio doesn't have a sys, separate sys button, long press the menu button. That's probably what you need. You may need to page the tools menu. And we can see if we go down here to TBS Agent Lite. It's the exact same app, um, but it doesn't have quite the fancy graphical interface. But I would say that even if you don't have a radio that has a fancy graphical interface, this is still well worth doing. The Crossfire Lua script, it feels like they've got some performance enhancements in the TBS Agent Lite that the Crossfire Lua script didn't. So even though many, much of the functionality is the same between them, I personally am going to be switching over to TBS Agent Lite, and I expect that the Crossfire Lua script will probably be abandoned and die out over time. Um, and this is just where they're going. So get this installed if you have TBS. It's so freaking nice. That's it. That's the video. Thanks, TBS. Thanks for, thank you, TBS. This is really nice. Just, just really, it's just so nice to have something that feels like an actual app running on the radio instead of like a kind of janky, I mean, Lewis scripts are cool. Don't get me wrong. It's, I'd rather have them than nothing, but I'd rather have this. Happy flying, you guys. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.